Hi, I'm Ryan Wright. And I'm Jerry. And I'm Michelle Q. Welcome to Reasons to See. Where we give you reasons to see. And not to see. Warm, warm bodies. bodies! Yeah! Woo. Sounds like we're at a party. <laughs> Let's hang out. Ryan's Consensus. There are a lot of reasons to see warm bodies. There are a lot of reasons to see warm bodies. Yeah, the film uh, Rock My Cock. Jerry's Consensus. I'm gonna have to go ahead and say that warm bodies is the reason movies are made. Warm bodies is the reason movies are made. Now I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna say, hey Jerry, don't you think you're overreacting a little bit? Oh, no. Michelle's consensus. There are strong reasons to see warm bodies. There are strong reasons to see warm bodies. Yeah, I really liked it. It was a really sweet movie. Reason to see number one. R. This guy, this guy's freaking awesome. You know, he's really funny and he's really, really likable. The guy has a challenging job because he has to make a zombie feel three-dimensional, but he really accomplishes the job. Takes acting chops, I think, to, to play a character who's basically brain dead and is slowly starting to learn how to feel emotions again. And then having to combine that with acting like a zombie. You know, I mean, Nicholas Holt did a great job. I can see how people might not give him the credit that he actually deserves just because he does such a great job with the subtlety that you might not even notice how great of a job he's doing until after you reflect on the movie. This could have easily been botched by a bad actor. He's a very expressive actor. You know, his performance really reminds you that restraint can take just as much chops as being super emotive. Reason to see number two, Julie. Teresa Palmer is pretty fucking cute, man. She kind of reminded me of Kristen Stewart, but with way more talent. A lot of the romantic impact really does have to be credited towards the chemistry, the performances of R and Julie. The chemistry and romance between them really tickles your heart. It's really sweet and they bounce off each other very well. In every situation she's put in, she's really believable. Yeah, she certainly has range. I believe, like a when she's terrified, man, I believe in yeah. that terror. Yeah. <laughs> you know, she takes a, a very uh, outlandish situation and then she makes it believable in, in a way that where nothing feels stilted at all. Because of her performance in warming up to R, that could have been very hard to swallow and she makes that believable. Yeah, she really does. Reason to see number three, the directing and writing. If someone were to tell you they're making a romantic comedy about a zombie and a human, you might be like, what the fuck? I wouldn't. I love necrophilia. <laughs> <laughs> Yet the directing and writing managed to pull off all of it in a very natural and a very believable way. Like it's it's funny at times. It's sweet. It's romantic. It's scary. It manages to pull off a really weird balance of tones in a really natural way. Yeah, it's a really quirky flick, but it does have this perfect blend of zombie movie and romantic comedy. It's not skewed too far in one direction. It's a great blend. Nothing felt really forced or let's just throw it in there and need to make it look cool. I mean, the movie's foundation is in its characters and all the main characters are written with a lot of dimension. It's just such a fascinating take to see it from a zombie's point of view instead. It actually made it a rather unique journey. Like I said before, this movie is a uh, would have been really easy to screw up in a lot of different departments, but it just seemed like Jonathan Levine had a really distinct vision and and he knew exactly what he wanted to do. You know, throughout this movie, I just had a huge smile on my face. It was so sweet and entertaining, and it just really captured my heart. When the characters are, are in jeopardy, like, those moments really worked for me, too. Like, I, it got my heart racing a few times. Bottom line, this director had a lot of tones to jumble with here. Yet, there's a perfect blend, not too much of anything, not too little of anything. And I loved how they're telling two stories that collide. They're telling one story about the zombies, and they're telling one story about the humans. I I'd also have to say, don't let the PG-13 rating, you know, steer you away if you're really into zombie movies. Because the story does a smart job of explaining how these zombies don't even bleed. I, I won't give it away of why that's important, but it certainly is an essence to the story. You know, it's, it's not a zombie movie that's about zombie kills, so it doesn't even need to be rated R, really. It's not like the PG-13 restricts it from being what it needs to be. As a horror fan, you come to know how, you know, a zombie movie works, you come to know those rules, and Warm Bodies really brings a cool new take on zombie rules, and it seems to have thought about them enough and fleshed them out enough to, to really make this movie and its universe work really well. It's a treat as a horror fan to get a completely different take on zombies. Reason to see number four, the cast. Dave Franco's back. 
laying a dick. But he's not just a dick, though. No, he's a traumatized dick. I mean, the guy's good at playing a dick. And John Malkovich is really believable. He brings just the right amount of military douchebag father and compassionate, sympathetic father to the role. I thought Rob Corddry brought a lot of humor to the movie. The guy's always funny. He's funny. <laughs> Fuck yeah. He had me crack up a few times. And there's this one moment where it's just like, <laughs> so funny. <laughs> uh, and, uh, Annalie Tipton was also uh, really good. And she's cute. And she also helps to, to sort of balance the character of Julie out. And she also has one of the funniest moments in the whole movie. Reason to see number five, the soundtrack. I thought the music choices were really well thought out. Each song choice enhanced the emotions of the scenes even more. I loved how the music was a way of how the characters actually connected. It's, it fits the youthful sort of quality this movie has, and it also, without beating you over the head with top 40, actually really works with the demographic it's mm -hmm. for. The combination of those scenes and the, and the music, it really does provide a moving picture. Plus you can tell that they, they really like their, their 80s. I felt the music was never random. You know, like a lot of movies tend to kind of, oh, let's just throw this in there and to satisfy like the youth because, oh, this is a popular song. But they chose unique songs that really gave the, the movie like a lot of nice energy and vibes. Reason to see number six, cinematography. Yeah, you know, just just on a basic level, I mean, it just looks the movie looks great. And then going deeper, you know, the cinematography really helps tell the story, and it really complements the story. The way they chose to express the visuals is really indicative of the mood and, and tone of the entire film. Yeah, because without the right look and tone, no matter how good the writing is, the execution would not have been as grand. Plus, too, because of the cinematography, it actually made the effects look that much better. The stylistic flourishes that the cinematography has really helps to communicate the sort. Of the new ideas this movie's bringing into to a zombie story. It wasn't anything like super artsy, but it really worked for the tone that the movie makers were trying to achieve. They didn't make ever make it look too dark or too light, you know, it was just right. And there are some pretty cool shots of the city, which is something a little essential for a zombie apocalyptic film. Reason to see number seven. The production design. There's an even balance of sets and CG in this movie. You know, they, they create a really cool zombie apocalypse environment, and they balance it really well with how it is now versus what it was like before. Yeah, you could really feel the history of humanity in the designs. You know, it's a movie full of little details, you know. I love the makeup design in this movie because the zombies were all mostly makeup and some pro a little bit of prosthetics here and there, but it wasn't like all out CG goriness. I just really loved it. It was tastefully done. It was really simple and yet worked so well for this movie. The makeup they did of R and the other zombies of their evolution was just so fantastic. I mean, they have some gross moments too. I mean, I, I don't want to give too many moments away, but there is one moment where a zombie is just peeling his flesh off and it's, uh, it's pretty nasty. It's gross. Reason to see number eight, the effects. Yeah, man, the, the bonies looked scary. They were creepy. It made sense the way they decided to distribute uh, the effects between practical and CG. Reasons not to see. There really aren't any reasons. There aren't any! Yeah, I mean, I can see how people might not like this film just because, look, it's a romantic comedy zombie film. Those are the genres of this film. Yeah. And so what do you get? You get romance, comedy, zombie. But I think some people might expect a little bit more, but for me, I thought it was tastefully done just right. I just think it was just so perfect. It gave me exactly what I wanted, and it just, I guess like it satisfied the craving. I love the shit out of this movie. I really do. Like, I was, I had the biggest grin on my face the entire time. It's like, I, I really do think this is the reason movies are made in a way, because it made me feel just excited and alive yeah. and happy to be there. Yeah, it, put, so, it puts you in a good mood. It really yeah, does. It's like, I didn't want, it, it's like, I, I kind of hate to see the cold hands of logic applied to it, because mm -hmm. it's, it's just such a lively film, and I just loved the experience of watching it. It just really, like, moves you, just so purely, I feel, emotionally. You know? I just want to hug. Yeah, you just want to be like, I love you. I want to make love to a zombie. Well, yeah. Oh. I guess. Subscribe, people. Yeah. Click Subscribe. this. Subscribe. Click this button. Tell us your reasons to see or not to see warm bodies. Yeah. Warm bodies. Subscribe or zombies will eat you.
That's true. We, we do have control over that. We can do that. You so, don't want to get It's a new YouTube zombie. function. Do you want to die? Then subscribe. Subscribe. It's easy. That's not a threat. It's a fact.